so I just watched a video about using a, a magnifying application on Linux where you have a window and wherever your mouse is, it zooms in on it uh, in that separate window. And that made me think about Compiz. Do you guys remember Compiz? If you have been using Linux for more than 10 years, you probably remember Compiz. It blew away everything that we have nowadays as far as uh, graphical user interfaces. Um, it's still available uh, and you can install it. Just sudo apt install compiz on your Debian based system. But we're gonna look at it right now and mainly the zoom feature, but a few other things in case you're not familiar with compiz. Now, I don't normally use compiz because I use i3 window manager and I like my tiling window manager. But real quick, for those of you who are new to Linux in the last 10 years, you may not know what compiz is. Let's have a quick look at it. So here we are, uh, I already have Compiz enabled, but to install it, you just sudo apt install Compiz. Once that's installed, and I'm running off a live uh, system here off my USB drive, just to have a fresh system. Uh, this is MX Linux, but it should work again on any, De any uh, Debian based system. Once Compiz is installed, uh, you should be able to type in Compiz dash dash replace to replace your current window manager. Uh, or if you go to your menu here, you can type in Compiz and there's a start or restart Compiz. I'm not gonna click that because I'm not sure that, that's gonna affect my uh, recording software. Uh, but now you have Compiz installed and you have a whole bunch of really cool features. Uh, and for one, uh, well, let's go to these settings here. This is the settings for it. Again, if you type in uh, in your applications, you do Compiz and you go to uh, the settings manager. In here, you're gonna have an option for enhanced zoom desktop. You'll click that, the first time you click that, it may tell you that it's gonna conflict with something else. You wanna disable the other thing. Go ahead and disable it. Once you do that, you can just hold down your Windows key and scroll your mouse to zoom in and then it follows your mouse around so you can zoom in as much as you want. And uh, I can let go of the Windows key once I'm zoomed in and it follows it around and then I can press the Windows key and zoom all the way back out. And th that's the feature that I was thinking about when I saw this other video. This was awesome and ran on basically everything. If I hit Control Alt to f and left and right to flip through my different workspaces, you can see that there's a cube. Of course, I hit Control Alt and click and I can drag that window around. Somewhere there's a feature that makes those windows pop off and make them 3D. Uh, another feature is the Expo mode, which again, you have to go in here and click to enable it. So I think it's under Desktop Expo. And once you have that, if you just take your mouse cursor and move it up to the top right corner, it, well, there's only one window on this uh, desktop, but if I go to here where I have a few, I do this and it shows them all. And you can set do it from all the workspaces, which is awesome that all your windows shrink down and they're right there and you click on the one you want. And you can see them updating real time. You can see that my recorder here is showing my voice. So it's showing them all real time. And again, this is, this is from 2008, 2009. Like shortly after I started using Linux in 2006, this was a thing and it's kind of gone the wayside, which is a shame. I like my tiling window manager. This right here, the, the expo mode was just the most useful thing because I could have 20 windows open and all of a sudden I just see them all. And it's, it's kind of like on your phone where it kind of sort of does this, but not nearly as good. Uh, again, back in the uh, late 2000s, I had the uh, Nokia N900, which was a cell phone and it ran Linux with Xorg and it had a feature like this, which was great. You had a bunch of windows open. There was a little button in the bottom corner screen and you click it and you'll be able to see all your windows that were open. And of course, you can't talk about Compiz without talking about wobbly windows. So let me again open up uh, the Compiz settings manager and I'll go to effects probably. No, oh, sorry, effects, not extras. And click wobbly windows and now you have your wobbly windows. You could just sit here forever and you can also adjust how the wobbly windows work. Like if I was to maximize this, there was a way you could like pull down. Yeah, there you go. So I'm pulling down the corner of the screen here a little bit. You could adjust how much that is. You could pull it like halfway across the screen before it snapped off. Um, Comp is, isn't really worked on anymore as far as I know. Uh, but it still exists, it's still in the repositories, and you just replace your running window manager with it. And uh, so like right now we're running XFCE and I replaced its window manager with this just by enabling it. And uh, again, there's a lot, and they're also in the repositories, there's also a package that's called Compiz Extras, which adds even more features. And I think that might be, like right here, like I said, I can do the whole rotating the cube desktop and you can make that zoom way further back out so you can see the whole, whole cube. I think in the extras, that might be where the windows were. When I do this, 
each window, each application actually comes off the cube like a it flies out at you. Uh, yeah, Compiz was awesome, and it's still cool. Uh, and again, the whole point of me showing this was because I just watched the video where someone was talking about uh, zooming in on Linux and how there isn't many options for that. This option's been around for a long time and works a lot better uh, than what they were showing in their video, uh, in my opinion, because it's not a separate window. It's I'm zooming in on my desktop uh, just by hitting the Windows key. Or, and of course, you can set your own keys and scrolling the mouse. So zoom in, zoom out. I'm rambling on because uh, this is just bringing back memories for me from over a decade ago of how awesome Windows was. I had machines that struggled to run Windows XP that this ran phenomenal on. In fact, I have videos on my YouTube channel of me doing this stuff on an old machine that could barely run Windows XP, but doing all these effects back in, like I said, like 2007, 2008, 2009, definitely before 2010. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Uh, Visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. If you've never played with Compiz, even if you don't plan on using it full time, uh, you should check it out because it's pretty cool and just fun to play with and a little just, just wobbly windows are awesome. Have a great day.